Well, hi, this is Dan Thompson. You know, another common question I get is, and funny enough, one of the arguments against cash value life insurance is whether or not your beneficiaries get the cash value um, and the death benefit when you die. Well, suppose you put a few hundred thousand dollars into a policy over the years, and now you have a million dollars in cash value. You also have $1.5 million in death benefit. Well, when you die, would your beneficiaries get $1.5 million or the million dollars in cash value? Well, let me ask you this. If you had a choice to choose between $1.5 million in death benefit or a million in cash value, which would you choose? <laughs> My guess is you'd probably take the $1.5 million death benefit. Well, and who wouldn't? What most people don't understand is that a million of that $1.5 million is your cash value. Now, people use that argument that you don't get your cash value. They're hoping that the person on the other side of the table doesn't understand whole life insurance and how it works. The reality is the cash value will never be higher than the death benefit. And that cash value is your money. It's yours whether you live or you die. Okay, so to wrap this up, your, your beneficiaries most certainly do get your cash value. This is your money and will always be your money. However, their total death benefit proceeds are gonna equal the death benefit, which is typically significantly higher than your cash value while you're accumulating and building your policy. The cash value is already included in the death benefit. So don't let anyone tell you that you lose your cash value. It's simply not true. Well, I hope that clears up any misconceptions. Thanks again for joining us. This is Dan Thompson. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Till next time, take care.